what is going on everybody it's me it's me it's gdp and once again we are back with another demo session for you guys today we are playing a game called luton luton this game is on steam uh the demo is absolutely free on steam and uh we're gonna play it today and we're gonna talk about uh the different aspects of the game and um get into it so without further ado here is luton brought to you by mimi gdp and of course if you like what you see hit the like button hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more videos like this we're putting out tons of content every day exclusive on youtube and if not, of course, you know, to catch me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DDPS underscore diner. We're there Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a comment if you do. Go ahead. All right, everybody, here we are. This is Luton. A game from Steam. So this is all, this is a very much simulation game. Luton allows you to control a team of up to 10 adventurers, split them into sub teams of up to three and send them off to clear dungeons while you equip, salvage or upgrade the items they find. Luton offers three core classes to choose from each with a custom set of skills and three ascendancy classes to upgrade into. There are a total of 21 default skills and 18 cooldown skills available. Each skill has eight different passives to choose from, allowing for a wide variety of builds. In addition, each class and ascendancy class offers a total of 25 passives to choose from. This game is crazy. 350 plus unique items to acquire, providing a high level of customization when equipping your adventurers. 60 plus monsters and 20 plus bosses to fight, each with their own selection of abilities and item drops with 90 plus monster abilities being currently available. 14 unique flasks to craft and upgrade, allowing you to augment your combat experience depending on your needs. 40 plus powerful endgame enchants, allowing you to take your builds to the next level. And 75 plus unique achievements to complete with over 300 total rankings. So let's, let's get right into it. Let's play a new game. Hey, welcome to Luton. To begin, please create your first character by choosing a name, avatar, and class. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be GDP. Uh, let's see. I like this avatar. They don't give you not much of a selection. But that's okay. This is just a demo, you know. Uh, let's go with this guy. Why not? Uh, we're going to do a warrior. Here are his, his, this is cool, class preview. Why is it not showing that on screen, though? Apologies. Let's see if it'll capture this game. There it is. Sorry about that. And we're back. <laughs> so here's the character creation, GDP. Here's the different avatars that you can choose from. And I went with Warrior for my first. And they give you a little preview of his attacks. This guy doesn't look like much of a warrior though, right? Maybe we should change it to uh this this handsome Han Solo looking gentleman right here, Harrison Ford. Armor break, earthquake, dragons war. Right, let's let's create. Now that you've created a character, you can send them on a mission. To do this, please select the mission menu. Okay. As you can see, this is our main screen here. Maybe I want to, might want to move the talking head to the other side. All right. See how that works out for us. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's go to the mission screen. Click the first mission, then select the prepare mission button. So I guys, just want to make sure you guys can hear me. Put my mic a little closer. Click the first mission okay all right first mission is woodlands then you see the mission details come out out here and then we hit prepare 
Select the character you wish to use to complete the mission and click the begin button to start the mission. All right. I'm going to select GDP because that's the only character I have. Uh, restart mode non and we'll just begin. Combat menu allows you to view your current mission progress. Right clicking on the character portrait will provide some useful interactions. So as you can see, it's now simulating. Simulating the uh, the missions. It's like he's fighting a wolf. It's like he got through that and he's fighting a goblin. And he is collecting loot. I'm going to go ahead and equip the better loot as he gets it. As you can see, just got a leather chest. We'll equip that on him. Just got an achievement. Achievement just unlocked. The bottom right. As you can see, I'm, e I'm equipping. Nice. You guys got a cape. Uh, uh, gold coins to purchase a second character slot. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Doesn't look like the mission was passed. And my character died. Awesome. He died by the hand of a goblin. But now what happens when my character dies, though? Does anything happen? Is the question. And that mission. Character slot. Uh, do Mrs. GDP? Could be a mage. Create. Okay. We'll send GDP and Mrs. GDP out. I don't know what smart restart is, but we'll try it. Ooh, fireball. Who am I equipping this stuff to, is my question. Ah, okay. So here we see the mission is still going on. As you can see, they're fighting. 13. HP looks pretty good. Boss is spawned. Oh, this boss has a lot of life. Mrs. GDP losing some life there. Yes. Oh, I think yes. It looks like I can now purchase building upgrades, allowing me to augment my gameplay and unlock new features. The upgrade menu would be okay. The first building upgrade, okay. Purchase, yes. I don't have enough gold coins. You just unlocked your first active skill. Looks like they're still going, they're still in there, they're still fighting. Just want to make sure that I'm... Oh, 
putting on new things as they come in. Oh, she's not going to need an axe. She will take a leather belt, though. Oh. Ooh, very nice cloak. Leather hood. Maybe my mans could use this. Uh, no, that's not what we want. We want him to have a sword. Um, I guess this purple... So blue is rare. Purple is epic, so that's not... Don't need that. Give him an axe, since he is, I mean... Contains a random rare art. That's more for like a fighter, I guess. Basic shield. So we could do sword and shield. Oh, they're still going at it. They're still fighting. Fighting the good fight. GDP just hit level four. Another cloak. Give GDP the cloak. Wood pelt. That's not what I wanted to do. Give her the cloak. And this. Embracers. Basic staff. Mrs. GDP already has the basic staff. Boots. All right. Looks like we're doing some damage here. It's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Okay. Leather pants. Pants. Still doesn't have a belt. Leather chest. The level four. This is a level one. Put the level four on him. You can have the chest. Pants. Level four cloak. level three as you can see this is this is the action here is pretty fast and furious um you just have to just keep rocking at one point available what does that do for me oh okay put it on that focus fire uh two points available one on health. One on barrier. Health. Armor rating. Quick slash, okay. Fury or lethal blows. Cleave gains in. Okay. We could just put one on each of these. Oh, this is we're looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to request a pause. See how this... What happened? Pause at the end of the current mission loop. I'm guessing that's when this boss dies. This is, he's level 5. Let's see when he bites it. Okay, so he, he just bit it.
I'm gonna exit and I'm gonna I'm gonna It looks like I unlocked the graveyard, so that's cool. Let me just look and see what we got here. Alright, so this basic staff we're gonna give Mrs. GDP. Because this is level five. Put that on there. Uh I wish there was a way to just like put your best gear on. Sort content. Let's sort it by level. Okay. So now we see here. So I'm going to give DDP the level 5 belt. Level 5 pants. The basic ward. So we'll give that to Mrs. GDP. Crossbow. Basic shield level four, put that on. Basic fist, I think that's more for, a, well, he's a fighter, right? But we want to do sword and shield with him. Basic staff. We already have a level five staff. And no, that wouldn't go. Here. Shoulders, he's got level one. Let's put level four shoulders on him. Boots, level one. Let's put these level three boots. Axe. I'll give him this level, level three axe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Level two, level one, level one, level one. Level one, level one. So now let's put this. Oh wait, did I have a better cloak? I do have a better cloak. Much better cloaks. Spell tome. It adds seven to twelve magic damage. Oh, this does a lot more magic damage. Much better for a mage. Okay. Incompatible, it says. This is a hood, I'm guessing. Scrap everything. Yes. Ooh, look at all these materials. Okay. Upgrades. Purchase that upgrade. Okay. Unlocked access to profession hall. Okay. Purchase this upgrade. Oh, don't have enough materials. I need more of whatever this is. Defensive splinters. Okay. Um, now we can go to the blacksmith though. This is the blacksmith menu. This menu can be used to craft items that you have unlocked the recipe for. Oh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Craft an uncommon, uncommon basic crossbow. Let's see, okay. I can buy another character. Uh, this is gonna be Remy. Gonna be my son. My son. He's gonna be a ranger. We'll create him. Um, how did we get to those skills before that here? Yeah. Danger points, put it on health. Nothing unlocked there yet. Nothing unlocked there yet. Uh, let's start that first mission once again. Unspent points. What does that mean? Ah, okay. I can put these on here. Uh, greater threat. So it looks like for each mission you gain points that you can use. Reduce the number of stages required to find the mission boss by one. That's pretty cool. 
Next rank, reduce the number of stages required to find the mission boss by two. That's on the second rank of that. Inspired learning. Monsters on this mission provide plus two fate. Okay. All right. So let's prepare. Looks like you can only do three characters right now anyway. Um, okay. So let's see what happens. So far, I like the premise of the game. Um, it's it's very much a simulation, um, and you just have to set up your characters in a way where they won't, you know, where they don't die and they have enough. They have enough skills to. Oh, and there you go. Remy's dead. Remy needs equipment. He needs equipment. This oh not the level five, no. weird though because the spell books don't really give much of a boost basic spear Yeah, so it looks like maybe I have to send my level one characters out on missions on on their own in order to level up. I don't I don't understand. I have to figure that part out, I guess. Ooh. Because it's a level six, yeah, they want me to equip that. Interesting. So I can compare these items here. I just figured that out. If I have a better item, the the it'll actually tell me they equipped it. That's kind of what I was looking for before, just to make sure that I have everything that I have, you know, all the right things equipped. I'm going to request a pause to see if I can maybe play level one with my ranger. Oh, look at this. Yeah, so I'll give him... Oh no! Yes! Ooh. So I'm guessing they're gonna want me to equip this hammer on. Yeah! Level 7. Level 7. Doesn't say that I should put any of this stuff on. Look, see, Beth equipped all. So then, since I do that, I can definitely scrap all this stuff. Get more materials. Enough to upgrade the blacksmith. I have enough to upgrade the scrapper. problem that's what happened before i didn't scale the monsters to i scaled the monsters to max level so he was fighting against level seven characters whoops 
My bad. My bad. So I'm just gonna get level one stuff here, which we can pretty much scrap. But the good news is that my other character levels up. And that's all that really matters. Just keep best equipping. You just keep best equipping, I mean. You really only have to focus on the upgrades and stuff. interesting concept for a game where you just have to worry about the loot hence the name Luton or Luton as you can see my other characters aren't getting a lot of XP but he is And then what I'll do is I will, at the end of this boss, I'll restart the mission again and set it to level 3 or whatever level he ends up finishing at, and we'll start from there. A lot of this stuff is just going to get scrapped if he can't use it. And there it is. Best equipped all. Grab the contents. See, this is this is very cool, actually. Now that you get the, now that I got the kind of hang of it a little bit, right? Now we can go back into the woodlands, prepare the mission. Let's see what he got to level three. Okay this to level three and then start again and now we'll get level three now we'll get level three um loot or should it should drop level three loot i should say see level three belt Just hit level four. Trying to catch him up. It's a it's an interesting concept. It's a very interesting concept for a game. Um, I like it. I think it's dope. We'll request a pause so that he we can level up to level four. Looks like we're flying through these now. Boss has spawned a lot more life this time. But as you can see, my guys are handling him pretty, pretty cleanly now. Equipped all again. Trap again. Let's see if we could upgrade anything. Looks like we can. We can upgrade our blacksmith. Take that. Oh, I'm gonna have to get this one next. What's in here? Uh, I don't think he'll be able to use that. Grab that. See if anybody got any more. Here we go. Quick draw. And Blade Fury was learned as well. Very cool. Um, back to here. Got a couple of unspent points here. Let's see. Monsters cannot spawn. 
Nemesis monsters cannot spawn. Rare monsters cannot spawn. 2% chance to find magic monsters. 1% chance to find rare. I'm just going to go down the line here, no? Reduce the number of stages. Just... I'm just going to go down the line. And scale it to four. And be good. And let's hope that we get some... Level four wolves. Nice. Yeah, I haven't. Ooh, okay. Smoke screen skill. Uh, stable skill. Let's do that. Flurry. GDP leveled up to level 8. It's pretty cool. I'm liking this. I'm definitely liking this. Um, the full game does come out August 31st on Steam. This is GDP reached level 8. Ah, okay, we defeated another boss. There you go. We'll request a pause after this loop. Or actually, we could just end this mission right now. Do best equipped. Ooh, somebody got a mythic item there. Somebody got a mythic item there. And it is Mrs. GDP. Got a mythical medium shoulder level 4 on that. That's pretty dope. So everybody's best equipped. Scrappy scrap. Upgrade. Let's try to get this. Oh, come on. I don't like that. Purchase the upgrade. Yes. Ooh, that unlocked a bunch of other stuff for us here now, too. So I think you guys get the gist of it, right? So, everybody, that was Loot Ton. Uh, Luton, tons of fun, in my opinion. I really like it. Um, it does come out August 31st on Steam. Um, if you guys are interested, go ahead and give it a download. I really enjoyed playing it very, very much. Um, and I think you will too. Uh, once again, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Um, if you like all the other content on the channel, hit the subscribe button. We will be doing these demo videos at least once every couple weeks, two, every one or two weeks, depending on how much time I have. Um, be on the lookout for a new Madden Ultimate Team for Noobs video uh, coming at the end of the week. And of course, you can catch me, twitch.tv, GDPS underscore diner, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern. And um, we play games just like this one. And we have a lot of fun in the morning with uh, various shenanigans. Um, but until next time, best of luck in all your games. Make sure you know I'm sending you peace and love. Like my man Jerry Springer used to say, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.